All right. My mother gave me this like a few months ago at this point. <laughs> and I really want to use them. Um, I've been saving them because I, I, I kind of wanted to film it. I don't know why. I'm not like a product reviewer. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think these are really interesting. I saw someone use them on YouTube and they look really cool. Um, they are sort of watercolors. They're not really watercolors. They are water soluble graphite as far as I'm aware. That is like colored. And I think that's like just a really interesting concept. I'm also quite fond of water soluble graphite so I thought that it might be fun to give it a try and I was super pleased when my mom gave these to me. If I can, there we go. <laughs> um, because they are kind of expensive um, and I'm not really good at watercolor so I was like waffling between whether or not I wanted to buy these. Um, and my mom gave them to me so that was quite nice of her. Um, but yeah, I figured it'd be kind of fun to just like chill and maybe swatch these out and perhaps play around if I can get it out of there. There we go. <laughs> that was much harder than I think it probably should have been. Um, but yeah, it is a set of 12 uh, Derwent paint pans. Um, like I said, they are graphite based, which is kind of interesting, like they're water soluble graphite. I think that's really cool. Um, and I feel like I'm just going to get into swatching them now. <laughs> Let's just do that. Let's, um, as soon as I figure out how to open this, I will start swatching them. There is, in fact, a dotted line. I'm not a very smart person. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I've let all of my swatches dry, and um, I have to say that I am, I am here for some of these colors. <laughs> I do quite, I do quite enjoy um, some of them. Uh, I don't know, meadows are not necessarily my favorite color, but I can see how it might be handy. I wonder if like mixing it. Um, I'm not usually hugely fond of like yellowy greens, but I can see how that would be a handy color, and I'm sure mixing it with something else will be nice, um, especially seeing as it's probably one of the brighter colors in the palette. Um, which I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea. Um, they are very um, muted colors, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Um, but like honestly, I, I quite like it. Um, I think it's kind of like, it's moody, and I mean, they are graphite based, so they're gonna be kind of like on that more muted side. Um, which I think that like the graphite texture that these paints end up having is really kind of cool. Some of them show them better than others, like there's uh, some in Juniper and Port. I don't know if it reads well on camera, but the texture is really kind of cool. Um, they're also kind of sparkly. <laughs> I, keep, I keep moving the paper to see the sparkles. I don't know if it comes up on camera because it's, it's not a whole lot of sparkle, but it's it's enough sparkle that I and my crow brain am just sitting here kind of staring at it, intrigued. But anyway, <laughs> I have I have a few ideas. Uh, nothing groundbreaking, I suppose. I just kind of want a chill day, and I think I'm just here for a doodle. Um, we'll see. <laughs> um, this is not a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Please don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's see what I can come up with. I'm really excited. I, I uh, am really excited about this palette. Um, I'm, I'm super eager to see what I can come up with and what I can play with. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to using it in the future, too. See, I, there's, there's some sparkle in the aubergine, which, by the way, aubergine is my preferred term for eggplant. Um, because eggplant just sounds stupid. <laughs> I mean, they're called eggplants because when they're, like, immature or on ripe, I suppose, they're, like, white and they look like eggs. So, I mean, it makes sense. 
but it's a stupid word. I don't like it. Aubergine's much better. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, do, do a doodle, see what happens. Um, I might do a voiceover. I might not. We'll see. <laughs> So I did some things. Um, I am really enjoying like working with these. I really love the colors. I like how moody and and um, kind of grungy they are. I really like like the um, graphite kind of feel to it. I think it's more obvious in some parts. Um, like if you look at my little mushroom here, you can see these almost like pools of um, almost black. Um, or at least a really dark gray, and I didn't use, you know, anything like the graphite gray. As, as least, I mean, at least I don't think I did. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um, but but I, I was using um, the port, which you can actually kind of see in here. Um, this sort of graphite uh, almost texture that's going on, um, and I'm I'm really like digging it. Uh, I guess maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think that the colors are quite fun. Um, even Meadow has grown on me. <laughs> um, Meadow is, uh, I think, really useful color. It's not my particular favorite on its own, but like mixed with others, um, like I mixed Meadow with Slate Green at one point, um, it makes a really, I think, nice kind of floral green. like you know, like that sort of leafy kind of green that this set doesn't otherwise have. So I think that they mix really well together. You can definitely get like a lot of different colors out of this. I think you can do a lot with it. And I'm not ready to stop. So <laughs> um, I think we're gonna move on. I, uh, 
sketched this out earlier. Um, it might be a little hard to look at. I might need to uh, zoom out a little bit. That's the wrong way. There we go. Um, and it's it's kind of based on that, that original drawing. Of, I did just close it, but I'm going to open it up again just to show, maybe, if I can find it. Uh, it's kind of um, an extension of this, um, which this is based off of the China berry flowers, which is a tree that's indigenous to China and India and is unfortunately uh, invasive where I live, which is quite unfortunate because um, we have a few of them around and they smell delightful. <laughs> and the flowers are really pretty. So I was really inspired to sort of use these colors and kind of make a bouquet. I thought it would be fun. So um, yeah, I'm gonna paint this <laughs> with these. I really love it. Um, I really think that it'll look kind of cool. I think hopefully it has that sort of moodiness and grunginess that I think um, these, you know, lend themselves to very well. Um, also, I think at some point I forgot to mention that it comes with a water brush. Uh, side note, the palette did come with a water brush. I'm not going to be using it for this. Um, it is really nice. Um, it doesn't leak. It is very easy to control, but uh, unfortunately this is just uh, too big of a brush. Um, so we're going to switch to regular brushes, but this did work really well while I was using it for the other little sketches. Um, just I need a little bit smaller to get uh, the detail that I'm, I'm hoping for. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start painting. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. I'm excited. I think it will.
is where I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, I really still quite like these paints. Um, I did have uh, a lack of skill. <laughs> More, more than anything um, with uh, layering them, um, but I think after uh, playing around with a little with them for a little bit, I've gotten a little better. <laughs> um, I still very much love the way they look. I kind of love that sort of moody, kind of muted color uh, that they have, um, and I'm quite quite pleased with the way this came out. Um, I also really love that if you put your face real close to it, you can see the sparkles because there is there is graphite in there, which I think is kind of interesting um, that the paints have that sort of sparkly uh, tone to them. Um, I think it gives them a little bit of a interest, I suppose. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I've had quite a lot of fun playing with these, and I look forward to hopefully doing more with them in the future. But I think for now, this is where I'm going to end the video. Um, it was a little bit more <laughs> than I intended on doing. I wasn't actually planning on doing this. Um, but I'm quite pleased with how it came out. Now, let's see if I can get this last bit of tape off. There we go. Uh, paper paper uh, warped a little bit, but that's because I am still not quite good at laying down watercolor without like just massive amounts of water. <laughs> I end up uh, layering too much, I think. But I think it held up pretty well. Um, it probably would have been a bit better if I had taped the sides like completely down. I wasn't expecting to use as much water as I ended up using though. I probably should have known better. I always end up using more than I think I do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.